Just another way the white man's getting f***ed over in this world, am I right? I signed a lease with my girlfriend. We live together, we signed a lease together, and that's when I found out my girlfriend also believes in ghosts. I'm dating an adult human, by the way. She's an adult, okay? And she believes in ghosts, spirits, apparitions, demons. Signed a lease, lived there for two months in the same house as this person. I found out when I'm on my way to the store, after living with her for two months, I get a phone call. My girlfriend said, I should mention too, my girlfriend is an aboriginal, um, she's, she's an indigenous native Alaskan woman. So there's a lot of uh, cultural symbolism that will influence the ceremony she likes to perform. I'm on my way to the store, I get a phone call. I answer it, my girlfriend says, oh, if you happen to see an eagle's feather on the ground on the way home, would you pick it up and bring it back? I said, I said, duh, obviously, my love. Why even bore me with such a question? I'm, a, I'm always picking up dirty bird feathers, you know, huh? I place them in my trusty satchel and along with my secondhand bathing suit, all the disgusting things I found up here. And, and I bring them home to you, my love, to share the story of my travels through the symbols that I find. No, I said, what the f are you talking about? I'm not gonna, I'm not picking up a mite infested bird feather and bringing it home. And my girlfriend said, no, you don't understand. I'm gonna smudge the house with sage to purify it, to rid it of demons and ghosts. And she also needs an eagle feather for the ceremony. Okay, you wanna believe in ghosts as an adult? Good for you. But if you truly believe there's a demon and a ghost in the house, you're not gonna wait two months and then, like an afterthought, go, oh, the, you know what I forgot? <laughs> <laughs> Not a big deal at all. But if you happen to see an eagle feather, no biggie, no biggie. It's just, I'm trying to thwart this demon that's molesting me in the night, but no biggie. I don't mind it that much. <laughs> Not urgent. No, if I thought there was a demon in that, I'll go kill a fucking eagle, all right? That's the pecking order. The eagle dies to send the demon back to hell if you really believe it. I'm not even allowed to pick up an eagle feather. Did you know that? Most people are not allowed. Anyone here ever heard of the eagle feather law? You hear? Let me read this to you right now. I am not allowed to pick up an eagle feather. The current language of the eagle feather law, individuals of certifiable American Indian ancestry, my girlfriend, enrolled in a federally recognized tribe are legally authorized to obtain eagle feathers. Hmm. Unauthorized persons found with an eagle or its parts in their possession can be fined up to $250,000. Just another way the white man's getting f***ed over in this world, am I right? That is blatant f***ing discrimination right there. And I am tired of living on the bottom rung of the intersectional ladder of oppression. I'll tell you that right now. My girlfriend's trying to get me arrested. I just figured it out. Oh, it all makes sense now, crystal clear. My girlfriend meets me. Hey, European man, uh, why don't you move up to Alaska? And while you're up here, why don't you pick up an eagle feather? <laughs> Wait, why? Oh, you know, because of ghosts? <laughs> <laughs> ah!